hey guys, this is not a live. When I post videos that are already in StreamYard, people say, I was saying hi to you and you didn't say hi. There's not a live chat. <laughs> so it's kind of awkward, isn't it? It's weird. Anyways, uh, I was actually reading something because the topic of discussion lately on my channel um, and over on Mexi's has been the Chris Watts case. <gasps> what? No. Why? Stop. Don't do that. Why are you talking about that? Get over it. What do you just want views? Is that what you want? Because only videos of yours that get views are with Chris Watts in the title. Is that what you're doing? Is that what you do? Well, the only reason people post videos on YouTube is so that people watch them, right? And it's an interesting topic that I didn't get into right away. And the reason I didn't is because I felt scared. <laughs> I directly got involved with the whole, you know, Trent Bolt situation in the very beginning. So I really didn't even want to hear about it. I was sick about the Chris Watts case long before you guys were. And then once I actually looked into it, because I didn't look over the discovery, I watched documentaries on it. I watched the movie. I'm currently reading two different books. This is one that we're going to be having a discussion on. Okay. And that is uh, My Daddy is a Hero. We're going to be having a live discussion on this book next Wednesday with my good friend, Nicole St. Louis. However, um, you know, I really wasn't that into it before. And I watched the paranormal parts of it. Like I'm interested for different reasons than other people are. Um, and as far as the paranormal side of it and uh, demonic and stuff like that, that's interesting to me because I'm a believer in Christ and I'm a believer in evil in the world and on the inter internet. <laughs> it's all over on here in my comments section. There's videos on here that people post about me. There's lots of stuff, lots of evil. Um, but with that being said, I, I titled this video, The Chris Watts Case is a Gail Weathers Situation. If you're not familiar with Gail Weathers, she is a character, actually I think my favorite character, in the Scream franchise, the Scream movies. And she is a news reporter. And there is a scene in the first movie where she goes up to Sydney, and I don't know if you know the story. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, <laughs> okay? But if you like true crime and you like being scared, scary movies, check out Scream, all four of them. They're filming the fifth one right now, by the way, starting next week. I'm super excited about it. But anyways, there's a scene where uh, Sydney puts this man in prison for murdering her father, right? Well, Gail Weathers, the reporter, she does not believe that the man that's locked up is in trouble or that should be in trouble. And he, she does not believe that he killed Sydney's mother. Now, by no means am I saying Chris Watts did not, doesn't belong in jail. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is Gail Weathers as a news reporter and seeking the truth and questioning and trying to find out the full truth does her job, right? That's what she does. She's ruthless. She's a bitch about it. She doesn't give a shit what anyone thinks about her, and she goes for the truth. Spoiler alert. I'm going to give you a, just a little tiny, tiny, blah, ha, tiny spoiler here, okay? The man that Sydney locked up didn't end up being the killer. Spoiler alert. He also gets killed in the opening scene of the third movie. Spoiler alert again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, so with that being said, I wanted to say that... People have lots of different views on this case and many other cases, but I'm saying this because I'm getting a lot of shit. Um, and I was actually just reading a Reddit article that uh, they made of mine and Molly Golightly's video that we were talking about this. They're like, they weren't talking about Trent at all. They went on about talking about other stuff and blah, blah, blah. Well, idiots, if you were watching my video or you watch any of my lives, I started top talking about that subject and Molly Golightly called in and we had chit chat. Okay. So I, I, I edited the title for you that we had other chit chat as well, since that wasn't good enough for you. But if you don't like it, don't watch. <laughs> and I don't care to have you here either. Anyways, back to Gail Weathers or in the scary movie franchise, as they call her Gail Hailstorm. <laughs> You're on my foot, fat shit. Do you remember that line? Uh, anyways, so yeah, so there's lots of different aspects of it that I'm interested in the paranormal side of it, but I'm also interested in the full story. 
You know, I don't believe anybody's ever fully going to know what happened, but it's healthy to have discussions about your opinions on it and get them out and have a place to talk about those. You're safe to talk about those here. However, if you're going to be a dick and cut people down, you're not welcome here. But if you're going to have an opinion and, you know, say, oh, you know, it's a, it's fun to have discussions. And for people that say, oh, the Watts case was so long ago. Stop talking about it. About it. They're just fishing for content or whatever. Well, that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm talking about it. And I don't care what you think about it because I'm incredibly interested in it. Incredibly interested in it. So I really don't care. All right. But to the people, you know, asking to the logical people that are asking, why are you talking about this? Like, what's the point of this? What are you doing? You know, I personally, myself, the Gale Weathers inside of me um, has many different theories in my head. Actually, some of them are incredibly unpopular opinion about this case, but I have many different ones. I have many scenarios in my head and truly only God knows what happened. Unless, you know, there's some killer evidence that comes out or some crazy, you know, proof or like someone comes out and speaks and spills the beans about something. Other than that, we're really not going to know. But it is healthy to talk about it. It's healthy to have discussions. And it's also healthy to respect each other. Okay? So I welcome your opinions. But if you're going to be rude and a dick... Do you really think that's going to get a good reaction? And that's kind of maybe the reaction that you're trying to get. So it's really not going to work. But anyways, with that being said, we are having a discussion on this. If anybody's going to get triggered about that, I suggest that you do not tune in. You didn't know that? You didn't know that you probably shouldn't watch stuff that makes you triggered or mad? What? Seriously? You didn't know that? Wow. Wow. And I'm not trying to be a dick, but you know, when you get really mean, stupid, mean comments nonstop, sometimes you can't help but be like, okay, I kind of want to, I kind of want to address these assholes, you know? But the good thing is like, what I don't really care as far as if people are, are saying incredibly mean stuff. I mean, of course they will. They'll say you're annoying or you're stupid or, you know, elementary school insults. Uh, and then you have people like the sad to me account that likes to clip videos um, and make absolutely zero sense and push an agenda about me that absolutely is not true. That's flat out defamation. You feel me? Yeah, there's emails and talks about that. Back down. <laughs> Uh, but it is flattery, you know, that people do talk about you or think about you um, pretty much all day and possibly maybe touch themselves. I'm not sure, but I'm assuming that they would touch themselves if they were thinking about me for that long. Hmm. Anyways, with that being said, I'm super excited. Like I said, Scream 5 is starting shooting next week. And if COVID messes this up, I'm going to be incredibly mad. Incredibly mad. You got Gail Weathers coming back, Courtney Cox, okay? You got Sidney Prescott coming back, Nev Campbell, okay? You got David Arquette coming back as Deputy Dewey. And a bunch of other brand new cast members. I'm interested, if you guys follow that franchise, I'm very interested to see where they take the story. I'm not going to give you a spoiler about the fourth one, but after that, it's kind of like, God, how many people can the Sydney lady really piss off, you know? She pisses a lot of people off. I thought I had trolls. <laughs> Sydney Prescott has trolls and they have a mask and a knife. <laughs> Shit. You know? So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you next Wednesday. See you next Wednesday. Wait. Yes, Wednesday. I haven't picked a time yet, but I am going to schedule the live. If you guys have not read this book, that'll give you time to read it. Um, My Daddy is a Hero by Lena Durhali. It's a very, very good book so far. Um, been trying to finish it, but, you know, my I have like ADD or ADHD, and I'm constantly like, huh, what, huh, huh, huh? So I have a hard time focusing, if you haven't noticed. Sometimes it takes me a while to get a full sentence out. 
I'm going to go call my therapist. I hope you guys, I hope you guys have a good day.